Greetings, AFCM. This is Pastor Todd Rowan coming to you from Billings, Montana. My wife, Teresa, and I are regional directors for AFCM here in the Rocky Mountain region, which is Montana, the treasure state, and Wyoming, the cowboy state. So it's a pleasure and an honor to bring you this month's faith aid. And in thinking and praying about what to share with you during this precious little time that we have, uh, I was pondering last month's faith aid from Pastor Jesse out in Oregon City, Oregon at Victory Faith Church. And uh, I took a few notes from what he said, and I'm going to give you Todd Rowan's interpretation of Pastor Jesse's message. He started off saying, and I quote, fall in love with Jesus like never before. And then he spoke about relationship with God through your prayer time to face the craziness that's all around us. And he made this statement. He said, well, where's the struggle? And of course, he said, it's in your thoughts, the battlefield of the mind. And when we get uh, our thought life out of whack, then he mentioned we can get off focus, which tells me we take our eyes off the vision that God has for our lives. And then he spoke from 2 Corinthians chapter 10 about strongholds and, and uh, casting down those thoughts and imaginations that the devil, you know, wants to get in there and give you a different vision. And then he said this, which I thought was so powerful, that we need to see what God sees. See, God already sees revival. He sees the finished product. And I heard on a song recently over Christmas that uh, we look at the cross and God sees an empty tomb. You know, we need to see the victory. Uh, praise God. So, in interpreting more of what Pastor Jesse had to say, it reminds me of workshops that I do in schools and that I've done for the AFCM Bible School about your brain. Uh, there's three parts of your brain. You have your brain stem, which is your uh, sur survival state. Good catch. Your survival state. And then when the blood flow, when you start breathing and get out of your survival state, you get up here to your limbic. That's your emotional state. When you start saying stupid stuff and you agree with the world, your flesh and the devil. And then when we breathe and we get into our executive state, we can actually problem solve and hear from God, hear from, you know, this relationship that Pastor Jesse was talking about, falling in love with Jesus. Well, so I was in my executive state, I was breathing, and I was like, how do I fall in love with Jesus? Because it sounded so good to me, and I want to do it. So this is Todd Rowan's interpretation. After Pastor Jesse said that, I wanted to just, you know, hug Jesus, and I did. I closed my eyes, and I kind of went groaned a little bit like Ugh, and I just really want to fall in love with Jesus and then I realized well what was that all about and I said God how do I fall in love with Jesus like never before like Pastor Jesse said I want a deeper relationship and he reminded me that Jesus is the word of God so they're one and the same so I could say it like this for me for me uh, fall in love with the word of God like never before all right, so I can do that. I'm going to be in the Word like never before. I'm going to meditate like never before. And so what I'm working on right now, or no, 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 I'm asking for a friend. How do you deal with chaos in your life when your button gets pushed? When your button gets pushed and you get all emotional, you know, your blood rate goes up and you feel like punching somebody, uh, maybe cussing somebody out. How do I, how do I stay here? So I tell my friends, because you know, I operate in the fruit of self-control. I tell my friends that when you get triggered and the blood pressure goes off and when this plug comes out, rather than to plug into the problem and stay emotional, 
I'm going to plug into my relationship, my love with Jesus, the Word of God. So I have to, in order to redirect this plug back into my spirit, I have to have been meditating and feeding on the Word of God. So, uh, the best way to start, of course I'm telling for a friend, is when you feel triggered, then you're going to take a breath. And out is going to come Jesus, because Jesus is the Word of God. So I'm going to speak Jesus into the atmosphere. I say, I endure long and impatient and kind. I'm not envious. I do not boil over with jealousy. I am not boastful or vainglorious. I do not display myself haughtily. I'm not conceited, arrogant, or inflated with pride. I mean, when you get pushed, what has to come out is that relationship with Jesus. The Word of God is the answer. So, if, you know, like I might have a friend who says, well, how do I discipline myself to lose weight? Because I always feel like eating my favorite snack, dark chocolate covered almonds. Well, I tell them, if you're going to get victory on that, you have to take a breath. You have to resist your flesh. Put your flesh under by saying, no weapon formed against me will prosper. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I am putting on the new man and taking the old man off. I'm putting on the new man. I speak to that. I resist the temptation to eat that dark chocolate covered almond in Jesus' name. So when you get triggered, because you spent that relationship time with Jesus, out will come the word of God. I endure long and impatient and kind. I'm not envious. You know, I'm not touchy. I'm not fretful or resentful. I take no account of the evil done to me. So the vision for my life is to be like Jesus and be a representative of the love of God in the earth. And the only way I can do that is to breathe and to access what I have built into my spirit during my time with God. That's the best I know. And it's what I tell all those people that are asking me. So to all my friends, the word of God is the answer. I, I'm praising God for Pastor Jesse triggering that in me. I hope this has been helpful for you in Jesus' name.